What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrenrad89 here bringing you another video today and you know what time it is. Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 3 dropped. I checked it out so this is going to be my review for it. We're going to talk some spoilers today so if you haven't seen it go run out and watch it and then come back and watch this video. So let's get down to it. Roll it. <laughs> So Rick and Morty Season 5, Episode 3. Oh, I can say for sure so far this is my favorite episode that we've had in the in like these season because oh, it's got such a good heart to it with the Morty storyline being such a powerful, passionate thing that you can get attached to. But then we have a kind of side quest with Rick and Summer. This is kind of like a palate cleanser, you know, for those people that don't want to get attached to a really serious storyline that just want some really good jokes and some silly-ass antics. That's cool too. So like I said, it's got everything to offer all the different kind of Rick and Morty fans out there. So as I said, our main storyline is a very emotional, powerful one as we follow Morty as he takes his first journey on being in love with Planet Tina, who's kind of a play on Captain Planet. It's an early 90s or mid 90s cartoon from back in the day, if you don't remember that. So it's really cool to see like Morty, one of the characters that we really do like and we want him to be in love. You know, we want Morty to end up finding that person that he wants to be with. So it's really cool to see him like, you know, go through that aspect of like, oh, he's in love. He ditches Rick basically to hang out with planet tina and he's so obsessed with her and like everybody you can tell you can totally tell everybody can kind of you know understand that you know it be a woman man black white asian like everybody's been in love so that's something that everybody can understand so it was a really good thing to throw into the episode and like i said morty being a character that we all care about it's something that we want to experience with him but then we also have a good side quest with Rick and Summer as they team up together because Rick feels ditched by Morty. So Rick and Summer team up together to go visit three different planets who are having cataclysmic events at the very same time and having big massive planetary blowouts. So they're going to go party, do all kinds of drugs and have all kinds of fun and you know have sex and do whatever they want. So it's like this cool like, little side quest with Summer that's got really good side jokes in it. And like I said, it's a palate cleanser for those people who don't want to be too emotionally attached to that really Morty storyline you know what I mean so it's good to have both of them coinciding having happening together it was a really special thing and then of course we realized as we follow Morty's storyline that if, you know your first love isn't always the best love you know it's going to be love at first sight and you're so obsessed with that person but Morty ends up finding out that you know there is some other sides to people of course and he ends up like you know Planetina has this kind of like dark phoenix moment where she goes out and kills like hundreds of miners you know trying to protect the earth because she's such a recycle healthy and do all these kind of things to protect the earth and save everything you know it's like really funny and was such a good moment and you see like Morty's face and like her actions happening like in his eyes as he's watching her like oh it's such a good moment and then I like the way the writers went and the creators with deciding to have Morty end up dumping planet Tina you know instead of her like you know finding someone else or her you know thinking oh the earth is my mission I can't be with you you know what I mean they ended up going the route of having Morty being the one to dump someone for the first time and break someone's heart because that's always a savage root like horrible thing that you don't want to do to somebody you know especially when they're really in love with you so it was such a good moment and then to see Beth come in the mother and comfort Morty and really be there for him like I said it was kind of a moment that I almost got like teary-eyed you know it's it's gonna get some tears out of you or get you really emotionally invested because this is such a great show and you really are connected with all these characters but so far, as I said, Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 3 is definitely my favorite one that I've that we've had so far out of these first three episodes. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Like, as I was watching this episode, this is probably one of my top, in my top five. I have to review all the episodes again and watch them all and maybe put out a ranking for that. But this is probably easily in the top five of my favorite episodes. Like, it's got such good callbacks to early 90s stuff and, like, nostalgic stuff. But it also has a good heart storyline that you could get connected to and understand. And a good side quest going on with Rick and Summer that you're just going to be able to laugh to and enjoy and have fun with. Thanks for sticking around with me all for reviewing another episode of Rick and Morty. Definitely hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out and follow along as we watch Rick and Morty Season 5. It definitely helps out the channel. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.